the VersaDAC, the new series of scalable recorders from Invensys Eurotherm. Simply higher performance. This quick video tutorial steps through connecting the VersaDAC to another instrument via Modbus TCP IP. This is an overview of the equipment. We have one Wi-Fi router, a 24 volt power supply, one VersaDAC scalable recorder, in this case a zero-way base, and a Nanodac quarter DIN recorder controller. Switch on the units and see the Ethernet connections to the PC, VersaDAC and Nanodac. Now do a Google search for Eurotherm iTools and download the software. Open the control panel and click on iTools. This allows the setup of connected instrument IP addresses. Check the PC network settings in Network Center. Now open iTools and scan for the connected instruments. Click on the VersaDAC instrument to configure. Log in with Engineer and Password 100. Click Access. Go to the Parameter Explorer and then to the Network Folder. Click Modbus and change the unit ID to loose setting. Go to the Modbus master folder, set up slave 1, rename as Nanodac Demo or a suitable name, change online to on. Edit the IP address to match the instrument to connect the VersaDAC to. You can always read this from the connected instruments panel. Click Search Device. This should automatically pull in the slave device. If a Eurotherm device, this will then populate the following fields with the type of Eurotherm device. Scroll down to set up Data Item 1. Rename to a suitable name. Scroll through the parameter list and select the desired parameter you want to record. Select Graphical Wiring. Drag Modbus Master 1 into the wiring panel and also select Virtual Channel 1 and drag onto the page. Click on the wiring icon, the bottom right of the block. Select PV and drag to connect to main input 1. Select Mass and Copy in the Virtual Channel Function block and then Save to File. Go to the Virtual Channel 1 folder, edit the name and then change the range to 1000 on the Trend tab. Go to Security, add new the user. For the demo, we will use Web Demo and Password 100. Check Enable Web Server in the User Permissions and then download to the instrument. Go to the group, then check trend speed, and then go to the recording folder. Edit point one, change the IO module to virtual channel, 
and then the channel to number 1. Enter the Versadac IP address into a browser to access the web server. Enter the username and password you just set up, for example Web Demo and 100. Click on the bar graph to view the Nanodac PV and then the line graph to see the trend. This completes the video tutorial to connect the Versadac to another instrument.